Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Let's talk about Crypto.com. Yes, they released their reserves today. And according to that, they are more than 100% backed on all their assets. But we will talk about their CEO in a while and what this nefarious man and why he might cast some shadow on Crypto.com. But first, let's talk about the good news. Basically, um, they released proof of reserves data. Remember, proof of reserves isn't really any good uh, without proof of liabilities because if you owe more money than you actually have, then, well, you're still kind of screwed, right? So none of these companies besides Coinbase, because they are a publicly traded company, have actually released their reserves. But, I mean, released their liabilities. But at least they released their reserves. And as you can see, they are 102% covered on BTC, 101% covered on ETH, 102% covered on USDC, 106% covered on USDT, 101% covered on XRP, 101% covered on Doge, 102% covered on Shiba, 101% covered on Link, and 102% covered on Mana. Of course, providing audited proof of reserves is an important step for the entire industry. This is from Coindesk. But like I said, if you don't have the liabilities, the reserves don't mean quite as much. So it looks like the company at least is okay, and it could actually like, you know, shut up some of those rumors about Crypto.com being insolvent. But a look at their CEO gives us less confidence than we had hoped. The CEO's name uh, is Chris Marzalek, and he was involved, this is from CNBC, he was involved in multiple ventures that ended in collapse, including ones where suppliers claimed they were unable to access their earnings. Just because you were um, the head of a lot of failed companies doesn't necessarily mean it's actually bad. But, you know, the circumstances that he left some of these companies were very, very sus. For, once, for one, like him and his business partner were paid millions of dollars by their manufacturing company just months before it declared bankruptcy. Maybe that's like Sam Bankman free taking a $1 billion um, loan months before FTX went into bankruptcy. Basically, essentially like uh, in a tweet thread published ahead of the story, the CEO wrote, startups are hard and you will fall over and over again. But he also didn't mention that he took millions of dollars from these companies that, fa uh, that, that basically fell uh, months after they took the millions of dollars. So basically, he, and like we mentioned, he was also um, involved in ventures where suppliers were not able to access their earnings uh, after, uh, and then it went kaput. So essentially, multiple failures, uh, multiple failures with, um, you know, some scandalous things written in it. Obviously, he doesn't like the stuff that's circulating about crypto.com. And since crypto.com has actually released his reserves, it does actually get um, a little bit better for them. And they are a little bit more legitimate. But the CEO leaves much to be wanted, according to the CNBC article. So you got to watch out for that. Would you trust this guy? Would you trust the company? I don't know. I think crypto.com for right now is okay. But you need to keep a close eye on them and the CEO. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.